This is part one of an instructional video that explains how to properly set up a home sleep study. Part one will outline what to expect during your child's prep visit. In this video, we will cover prep, supplies, and setup. On the day of your child's home sleep study and prior to coming to the lab, please do not use lotion or hair products like gel or mousse on your child's face, chin, scalp, or chest. The following items will be placed on your child during the prep visit in the lab. Skin gel, 10 head electrodes, three chin electrode stickers and wires, two chest EKG stickers and wires, gauze, two elastic belts, black box. The study team will begin by seating your child in a chair and cleaning his or her skin. They will then apply 10 electrodes to your child's head and five on their face. This process involves parting the hair and cleaning the scalp with a cream on the site of each electrode. Then the electrodes will be secured to your child's head using another cream that also assists with communication of the information. Once the electrodes are in place, they will be secured by wrapping your child's head in gauze like a hat. This gauze hat should stay in place until the sleep study is over the next morning. The electrode wires will also be wrapped in gauze to keep them organized and out of the way. The electrodes are important because they tell us if someone is sleeping and what stage of sleep they're in. Placing and securing the electrodes on your child's head and face will take about 20 to 30 minutes. If your child complains of being itchy, or you see her or him trying to itch the electrodes, encourage your child to tap them, but do not rub. Next, the study team will ask for your child's normal bedtime so they can program the sleep study equipment to start recording at that time. We will place two chest EKG stickers on your child's chest and connect both with the black box. An EKG can tell us about your child's heart rate during sleep. Then we will place the elastic belt around the chest and connect it to the black box. The second belt will go around the belly, making sure it is at belly button level. The belt should be snug against your child's body, but loose enough to be comfortable. You should be able to slip two fingers easily beneath the belts. The elastic belts will measure the movement of the chest and belly as your child breathes during sleep. Remaining completely still is not required. Your child can watch television or use any electronic device you bring to help pass the time. If your child gets tired, he or she can stand up and stretch too. If your child complains of being hot or if you observe your child trying to touch the electrodes, wires, or gauze, distraction will likely be the best solution. Try to engage your child in a different activity such as watching television, playing on a tablet or phone, playing a game, singing, reading, anything to help distract him or her. Your child will go home with the device, head electrodes and facial stickers, and wires in place. The white chest and belly belts will be secured by the black box device. His or her head will be wrapped in gauze. You will be asked to complete all the other steps of setup at home before bedtime. If you should have any questions, please contact your study coordinator. A study team member will contact you by phone the evening of the study to help address concerns that may arise. 